emerging from this barren terrain. A dinosaur graveyard, where the bones of some of the biggest creatures ever to roam the Earth are being discovered. The dig is called Mission Jurassic, and it's providing a glimpse into our prehistoric world. Where does this fit on this mass? Yeah, that's, that's straight in here. See, that makes complete sense, because that's absolutely massive bone. And I, I think there's no doubt that what you're looking at here is, in fact, part of the pelvis. So you found the pelvis. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what is fantastic about this site, there's multiple bones from at least a dozen individuals already poking out of the ground. And when you realize we've only just really scratched a corner of this square mile, there's going to be dozens, if not 100 plus dinosaurs lurking in the rocks of the Jurassic here. So this makes this a unique opportunity to explore what is an extraordinary site over the next 20 years. This dinosaur drowned in a flash flood and was then caught up in a log jam. The tree trunk it was crushed up against is still preserved millions of years later. These are just some of the amazing bones that are being discovered at this site. Right here, you have an arm bone. Next to it, a giant shoulder blade. And then you can just begin to see the backbone starting to emerge. And standing here, you really get a sense of the size of this creature. It's a type of sauropod, which from nose to tail measured 30 meters long. And scientists think it might even be a species that's new to science. There are so many dinosaurs here. Excavating each bone is a painstaking process, so it takes people power, working in the intense heat. The challenge is to figure out which bone belongs to which of the big beasts they've found. It's the sediment they were buried in that's perfectly preserved them. Then the movement of the rocks has slowly pushed the bones to the surface. But how do you tell bone from rock? Try licking it. Okay. Quite sticky. sticky. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, sticking. Because it's porous and it's sucking onto your tongue. So that's... Rock doesn't do that, but bone does. The scientists are working with rocks that are 150 million years old from the Jurassic period, a golden age when dinosaurs exploded in shape and size. Some would become truly massive. Every discovery here is revealing more about how they lived. Every single time we find a new dinosaur, that adds to the sample that we already have. And once we have a big enough sample size, we can do really interesting studies, like understand how they walked or understand why they got so big. And we can't do that if we just have one or two. We need loads of them. So every single dinosaur that we find contributes a little, a little piece more to our understanding of dinosaur biology. The dig is like going back in time. A meat-eating Allosaurus has been found here and herds of plant-eating Diplodocus also grazed on this landscape. Before that, there was a vast inland sea. Marine reptiles called ichthyosaurs were abundant in these waters. Paleobotanists are also sifting through the sandstone. Victoria Edgerton is hoping to solve a long-standing mystery. What I'm interested in are the plants. The plants are completely different than what we see around us today. In fact, these dinosaurs were eating things that we would consider to be very nutritionally poor, things like conifers, ferns, and cycads. And we would love to be able to understand how they ate this food and still got to be to the enormous sizes that we find them. The scientists are protecting the fragile bones with layers of plaster. It's vital to keep them safe. The bones are then removed from the site so they can be analysed in the lab. The work here has just begun. The dig's expected to last 20 years. But the team says the efforts will be worth it to unlock the secrets of our Jurassic past.